just 30 days remaining for your CA Foundation June 22 examination. Other subjects like accounts, maths, economics, they are still manageable because they are common with 12th standard. But yes, I agree law can be a nightmare for many CA Foundation students. But not anymore because after watching this video, you will have a lot of clarity on how to plan this subject for your upcoming exam. If you are watching my video for the first time, I am CA Preeti Agarwal and I make videos specially for you. Do subscribe to your channel Theory Masters Learning and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications for all the upcoming videos including the revision series which we are starting very soon for the CA Foundation June attempt. Students, in this video, I'm going to give you a very clear and a manageable strategy for the CA Foundation law subject. Firstly, we need to know the things to cover in this subject. So, ideally, you should cover the study material. Now, you may be a student going for self-study and referring the module. Or you may be a student who has either joined some on offline class or maybe you have purchased video pen drive lectures and you must have received some study material from your classes. The students who have purchased our lectures, the ones who are associated with us, have received the main law book, the compiler, BCR workbook. So that content is sufficient. So if you are a student who is studying on your own for the CA Foundation exam and you are studying from the module, then you need to cover the entire module because now questions are generally asked on concepts. Direct questions are rarely asked in the exam nowadays. If you have joined some classes or you are studying through pen drive lectures, then you can refer the classes notes which have been provided to you don't skip this past students and don't go for shortcuts don't don't keep asking a professor is it is it okay if we study only the question bank is it okay if you only solve the past exam questions because see there is no shortcut to success they may say yes for the time being but everybody knows that you have to cover the study material at least once if you are satisfied with the classes notes that you have then you need not refer the module. The students who are enrolled with us, the ones who have registered for our classes, they need not open the module at all. You will study only from our notes. Then students, after studying from the notes, I would advise you to solve all the past exam study material, RTP, MTP questions. For that, you can refer my compiler. And I would not advise you to go through any other book. This book is sufficient because it covers more than 300 questions. We have updated the book for the June 22 attempt. It has all full length answers as provided and expected by ICI. The questions are arranged unit wise. So ideally, you should cover your study material. Then after you complete one unit, you should immediately apply the concepts and study the questions from the compiler. After you finish one unit, only then you will proceed to the next unit. So things that you need to cover for exam is the study material. There is no shortcut. So please don't avoid this. Then you need to apply the concepts by going through all the questions. You also need to cover at least two prelim papers. It means you need to solve. You need to solve them in an exam-like environment. Sit either in your house, go to the public library or any other place. Like if you, if you study in your bedroom, then for these prelim papers, go and study in the, go and attempt these papers in the hall. If you are studying in a particular room, don't attempt the paper in that room only. Choose some other place, create an exam-like environment, time yourself, sit for three hours and solve two papers. If you don't solve students, you will not have writing practice and you will not be able to manage your time in the exam. So there is no compromise. Solve two prelim papers, not just for law, but for other subjects also. So these are three things that you need to cover for law and BCR. The study material that you are referring, questions, and at least two prelim papers. Now, many a time students ask me, ma'am, uh, how should we remember law? Because we don't remember. Like if we start studying one particular unit, we forget what was studied in the previous unit. As we progress, we keep forgetting what we had studied in the last unit. It's not possible to retain the legal words, terms, and we get very discouraged and we feel very low that, you know, we are putting in three to four hours of study every day. But then at the end of uh, two or three units, we forget what we studied earlier. 
फेलियर एंड देन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट ऑल ओवर अगेन वेन वी स्टार्ट दैट अगेन इट सीम्स सो न्यू ऐसा लगता है कि पहली बार पढ़ रहे हैं सो हाउ टू रिटेन मोर बिकॉज ये पूरा थ्योरी सब्जेक्ट है स्टूडेंट्स यू विल नॉट हैव एनी एम सी क्यू इन दिस सो हाउ टू रिटेन देर आर टू स्टेप्स ओवर यर वन इज इन रेपिटेशन एंड अदर इज एप्लीकेबिलिटी कीप ऑन रिपीटिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस प्रोसेस इन टू फाइव ईजी स्टेप्स रीड द टेक्स्ट फर्स्ट यू ओनली रीड द टेक्स्ट देन रिपीट वॉट यू हैव रेड टू और थ्री टाइम्स रिपीट लाउडली your your friends who are sitting beside you maybe you are sitting in a public library or your parents or any other person at home may think that this person has gone crazy you are talking loudly to yourself and why are you uh, you know repeating everything uh, again and again don't worry about them just ignore them for the time being repeat what you have read at least two to three and do this loudly okay not very loudly but then repeat not in your mind or softly repeat as if you are reading something out aloud in a class so read the text first then repeat what you have read two or three times loudly whatever you have studied revise that at the end of the day you can follow this for other subjects also but specially for law whatever you have studied during the day revise that at the end of the day then the next day revise the concepts that you have studied on the previous day so it is not only studying the concept but also revising at the end of the day and revising it again on the next day so two times you will revise the same concept and i am very sure after doing all this you will remember the theory the last thing is revise the concept again after one week see normally when we keep on studying new concepts you need to revise you need to go back to what you had studied you, you may not require that much time now See first you must have taken let's say twenty minutes to thirty minutes to study and remember that concept. But when you revise and then you revise again after one week, that concept can be covered in just ten minutes. So your revision time will keep on reducing and your confidence will keep on increasing. After these five steps, you will remember the exam. You will remember the concept till your exam. That is something which I can assure you of. Then, how do we make notes? okay so this is something which i want i would like to share with you how i studied law and how i advise students to study law this is the exact methodology which i followed while studying law not only in foundation but ca inter and final also i used to write down the keywords or maybe you know small short notes in the left hand margin of my book this is something which i do now also and i also advise my students to follow this method so write down the keywords when you read aloud you can you know maybe once just write down the keywords uh, if you don't want to write it on a separate piece of paper write it in the left hand margin of your textbook itself so like i've given you an example this is the doctrine of indoor management so suspicion of irregularity is one of the uh, cases on the, in the left margin i have written two most important points which have to be present in my answer ye to mere answer mein hona hi chahiye to maine yahan pe left hand side mein likh diya hai कि जब भी मैं रिवाइज करने बैठूं तो ये पॉइंट्स मैं पहले पढ़ूंगी एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर द कीवर्ड्स यू कैन फ्रेम द सेंटेंस ऑन योर ओन इन द एग्जाम सो आई टू राइट ऑन आई ऑलवेज यू टू राइट इट ऑन द इन द लेफ्ट हैंड मार्जिन एंड आई यू टू ऑलवेज हैव अ ब्लैंक पीस ऑफ पेपर एंड अ पेन विद मी एंड आई यू टू कीप राइटिंग दीज वर्ड्स टू और थ्री टाइम्स एंड आई नेवर फॉर दीज वर्ड्स टिल द एग्जाम make your own notes by by writing just the head points like if you want to study the concepts of of doctrine of indoor management the exception to the doctrine now there are three exceptions knowledge of irregularity suspicion of irregularity and forgery so just write these keywords sorry write these head points then when you revise the concept after one week just go through the head points and you will be able to recollect the concept easily to jab aap next day revise karte ho ya ek hafte ke baad revise karte ho to knowledge of irregularity suspicion of irregularity forgery ye head points aap yaad karte raho aur ye ek alag book mein bana do head points sirf head points likhni hai aapko and then just keep reading those head points see when your head points are correct examiner ko lagta hai ye padh ke aaya hai so if your head points are correct you can write the other points in your own words and you know students what you are doing you are memorizing the head points you are memorizing the keywords also the examiner will have to give you marks the remaining sentence can be formed in your own words see you your heading is correct you have the keywords in your answer there are so many uh, uh, places where i see i can give you marks so i think getting exemption will be very easy if you follow this 
the second step on how to retain more is application of concept studying is just half of the work done most important is to apply the concept and i'm telling you students 50 percent of your paper is case based is case based questions so you need to study thoroughly how to apply these concepts go through as many questions as you can go through the past exam paper study material rtp mtp questions why find why take the trouble of searching all that and you know randomly studying best is refer the compiler now as i have already described compiler is a book which is a compilation of all the past exam study material rtp questions arranged unit wise link for the compiler is in the description box you can also visit my website theorymasterslearning.com and you can purchase your compiler we always dispatch through express delivery you can get the compiler in three to four days we will if you request we will try to send it by the quickest means possible and you can prepare you have a month for the exam and tell and i'm telling you students 90 percent to 95 percent of the paper will be this from this book only and that is the past trend 95 percent of the questions sometimes all the questions are from the compiler so if you cover this compiler you will be well prepared for the exam and getting exemption will be a cakewalk for you write and practice at least three questions per unit so if you have the compiler so from the main unit okay from from a particular unit you will choose any three questions and write those three questions write and practice now what i tell students over here is tell your mom to choose any questions from that unit write and practice so this is like a self test which you are taking before you appear for the prelim paper write and practice then compare your answer with the model answer the more you write the better you will get the better you will be able to retain so students i hope these tips will help you for the exam and in case you have any query you can reach out to us my number is available on the website as well as in the description box of this video you can whatsapp you can call we are very we are we would be very happy to help you we are always there to increase your learning process we are there to to help you complete this syllabus and prepare for your exam on time don't hesitate to reach out to us we would be very happy to guide you so with this students i would like to sign off and wish you all the very best subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because very soon we are going to start with the revision lectures let the cbsc exam get over i was just i was supposed to start the revision lectures in the last week but many students messaged me and said that ma'am we are cbsc students and we would uh, request you to please wait for the revision so i'm just waiting for cbsc exams to get over and after that immediately we will solve the uh, we will start uh, with our revision sessions and we will have revision sessions not only for law but also for bcr so stay tuned students this is your channel you request and we make the video if you have request or you if you want any particular concept video on any concept please feel free to comment in the comment section and i will surely make a video on that concept all the best students